Hey everybody, I just want to show you my membership info from hotels, etc. This is a one year membership that I have. And I've been checking this out for about two weeks now. So I have just logged in. And you see here at the top, middle of the page. Zoom out so you can actually see it. Let's see if I can get this to seem a little better. Okay. You have the home account. So if you log into your account part, which has my private info, so I'm not going to click on that. I'm sure you understand. Um, that's where you can update your address and phone number. It has your um, login info, so your membership ID, things like that. And if you click on history, you can actually see what you've looked at recently. So here's what I was looking at the other day. Um, I was checking out some stuff that I had no idea that they even offered. So, like Cinemark, which is pretty much the only theater that we have here. Which is really cool because it offers 30% um, off. And it's not they're not restricted tickets. You can buy them and go anytime. Which is pretty awesome. So, that's what I was looking at last time I logged in. And get the bookmark stuff. Check out what's new. Tours. Uh, shopping. Car rentals. You name it. I mean, it's not just about hotels. Okay, so let's go back to the main part. And at first, it is a bit confusing. So if you spend a little bit of time on the site, it does get easier. They do offer more things that you can do. Roadside assistance, nurse line, health stuff. So you can check that out. So there are a, a variety of search en engines where you can check out ways to save money. They have support line if you need any help. The sporting tickets, cruises, like I said, car rentals, theme parks, attractions. Um, I saw that they have uh, recreation campgrounds, things like that. Restaurant.com, vacation packages. Can change the language. See, we're going on, um, we go to Comic Con every year because we work at a booth um, up in Phoenix, which is a couple hours from here. And so we're checking out a couple of hotels. We usually stay at one or the other. And let's see if I can find on here. I'm filming my tablet, but I logged in. I took photos on my phone. <laughs> Probably should have logged. Taking a shot of that. On hotels, the hotel um, that we first looked at was 83. And the cheapest spot I could find at the same hotel for the same date was 230. And the other price range went all the way up to 500 So this membership will definitely pay for itself. Okay, so hotels. Let's put in Phoenix. Phoenix there. Tiny little screen. Now I'm going to pause this while I do this. Okay, here's the 
Hyatt Regency, which is directly across, you know, literally the driveway from Comic-Con, and 8331, and it's on request for the room, because Phoenix Comic-Con is a major event, usually books out about a year ahead of time, so they would call the hotel. Most of the time you just book right online. Okay, so I'm going to pull, pause and pull up the room just online and show you the difference. Okay. Right, Regency Phoenix. Same dates, May 26th to May 28th. Two adults, two kids, and that's ages um, 15 and 14, so. Look at those prices. And standard rate, 569. Pretty crazy there. Now, if you went through another discount site where you wouldn't be able to get the money back but would save money if you did actually get to go, here are prices. But if nothing went wrong, so you wouldn't have to worry about losing money. There you go. Hotels, etc. Still the way to go. Pays for itself. Hope that helps. Any comments or questions? I can help at all.